Good morning children. Let us see the next video of decimal fractions that is about multiplication and division. So let us see how to multiply the decimal numbers together. See I have taken an example over here to show you how we put the decimals in the multiplication numbers. Now over here I have to multiply 2.3 by 6. So you do the normal multiplication children. You count the number of decimal places and then in the answer also from counting from the units place we put the decimal. Like we have one decimal place so from the units place count one and then put the decimal. See this is how you do it. Right. See the next one also it is also done in the same way. I have taken 0 0.23 into 6. The answer remains same. After how many places we have to put the decimal children? 1, 2. So in the answer you count from the units place 2 and put the decimal. See the third one. Over here in both the numbers we have a decimal. So you do the normal multiplication. Count the number of decimal places. 1 here and 1 here makes it how many? 2. Count 2 places and then put a decimal. So this is how you put the decimals. Now there's a note that is written over there. Please have a look at it. 138 and 138.0 are same. That means if after the decimal we put a zero, then it will not change the number. The number will still remain the same. Now I am teaching you how to do multiplication with the powers of 10. That means if we have the multiples of 10 and you have to just put the decimal and do the multiplication, how are you going to do it? Whenever we have any number of zeros, we shift the decimal in front by that many zeros. Now in 57.6725, how many zeros with which we are multiplying? 1. So you shift the decimal 1 place children. So it will from here, it will shift 1 place and my answer will become 576.725. In the second one, we are multiplying with two zeros. So we shift the decimal two places, one place and one more place. And our answer becomes 5767.25. 5, In the third one, we are multiplying with three zeros. So shift the decimal three places, one, two and three. So in the answer also, we have put the decimal. In the last one children, we are multiplying with four zeros. So that means it has to shift four places. One, two, three and four. So the decimal comes after the number. So whether you write the decimal after the number or you leave it like this, it will be, uh, it will remain the same. No difference will be caused. So this was about multiplication. Now coming to division children. I have to divide 83.6 by 2. So you will do the normal division children as we do. 2 4s are 8, 0, copy down 3, 2 1s are 2, 1. And now my numbers have finished over here and we have a decimal. So in the question also you will put a decimal. Copy down the next number and here we complete our division. Similarly I have taken one more example children similar to it. Now. With 3, I'm going to divide. So 3, 3 is a 9. Now, after 9, we have a decimal. So in the question also, you put a decimal. Copy down the next number. That is 3. Now, one time. Copy down the next number. That is 9. And then 3 times. So this way, a decimal has been placed in the question. Now, there is one more thing. If we have a decimal like this in the numerator as well as in the denominator then we can shift the decimal children counting the same number of places like if i shift one place here i will shift one place here again i shift one more place so my decimal will come one more place so this number can be written as 506.5 divided by 5 i can write it like this and then i can do the normal division Coming to exercise 15, C children, I have taken few uh, questions from here and I am going to explain you. 5.6 multiplied by 8. Now normal multiplication you will do it. Count the number of places of decimal and then put it in the answer. One place of decimal, so count from the units place, one place and put the decimal. 
over here coming to the I have taken the fourth sub part normal multiplication you do children how many decimal places are there one two three four in the answer also count four places from the units one two three four and put the decimal right question number two is also the same you have to evaluate that means you have to finally get the answer multiplication is there normal multiplication the way we do it count the number of decimal places 1 2 3 4 and in the answer also count 1 2 3 4 and put the decimal similar to it we have the fifth sub part children where i have taken uh, the question is three decimal numbers are being multiplied multiply the first and the second number first put the decimal one place here one place here makes it two places count two places put the decimal and with that answer now we are multiplying the third number count the number of places 1 2 3 in the answer count three places 1 2 3 and put the decimal right coming to question number 3 children now if we are multiplying any number by 10 right now i showed you children how do we do we keep on shifting the decimal in front so 3.9 when multiplied by 10 will be 39 only decimal has shifted now two zeros are there that means it has to shift two places one place and that means one more place but there is no number to shift so we will put a zero over here so my number becomes 390 now over here we have three zeros that means it has to shift three decimal places one place two place and three place no numbers are there so fill them up with zero so my number becomes 3900 similar to it over here also you can see it clearly over here when we are shifting the decimal then how are we going to shift let's see how many places will it shift one place so my number will become 00 one place it has shifted 0.829 then two places it has to shift one place and one more place so my number becomes children 008.29 i can also write it as 8.29 Now it will shift three places. One, two, three. So my number will be eighty-two point nine. So this is how you can shift your decimals when we are multiplying. Now coming to the next thing, when we are dividing, like in question number four, we are dividing. Children, I told you right now, you are going to do the normal division. Only thing is, make sure to put a decimal after the number where the decimal is coming. So after eight, it is coming. So when I divided eight, one is eight. I completed with eight, so I have to put a decimal in the question. Similar to it over here, children. Zero point zero zero seven two. Now when six, we start dividing. Zero can't be divided, so zero point will come again. Zero zero, nothing can be done. For seven, we can start the division. Six one is six. Twelve and six two is twelve. So this is my answer. Now, when we are dividing children by multiples of ten, in multiplication we were shifting the decimal in front. In division, we are going to shift it back. So, forty-nine point seven nine can be written as one place. It will go at the back, so it will be written as four point nine seven nine. When we are dividing by hundred, that means two places it will go back, one place and two place, right? So, my number will be. 0.4979 and when it is shifting three places to then one place two place now there is no three place so i will have to put a zero over here and my number will be 0.04979 so this is how we are going to get it so we shift the decimal back when we are dividing and we shift the decimal in front when we are multiplying Look at the sixth question, a similar kind of a question, children. We are shifting the decimals, right? Now look at the eighth question. This is evaluate. Now whenever we are doing evaluate, children, you have to keep one rule in mind, and that is board mass. And board mass stands for brackets of division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. In this way only, we are going to solve the questions. You can't change the pattern of uh, solving the questions. Now, according to it, first we divide, then we multiply, then we add, and then we subtract. So we are going to solve this part of the question first. When we divide it, we have shifted the decimal back one place, so nine point three two minus two point eight five four. 
and now you do the subtraction children remember to make them like decimal places by adding the zeros look at the second one 0.234 into 9 plus 62.8 now first we have to solve this part of the question we are multiplying our decimal will shift one place in front 2.34 plus 62.8 you are going to add them by making them the like decimal numbers okay coming to the third sub part right this is the question so first you have to do the division that means this part of the question will be solved we shifted the decimal back two places and then multiplication over here children we are going to shift the decimals in front and then finally we are going to do the subtraction by making the like decimals look at the fourth sub part 2.86 into 7.5 plus 45.4 divided by 0.2 now first we start with dividing children so over here i have divided and i have shown you how we are shifting the decimal 227 we are going to write it over here then we are going to do the multiplication first over here is the multiplication step also shown clearly count the number of decimal places and put now this is after the multiplication this is after the division and finally we are going to add them the last sub part is this one where we are going to start with the division first right so shift the decimals and do the division you will get 1.8 then we are going to solve the multiplication i have solved the multiplication and shown over here so after multiplication we get this value and after division we get 1.8 now make do the subtraction by making them as the like decimal places and finally do the subtraction so with this we come to an end of exercise 15 thank you